Hi everybody, and again, welcome to your next lesson. This lesson is going to focus on the principles of data visualization as discussed by Edward Tufte. Now, if you don't know who Edward Tufte is, I really encourage you to go take a look. He's really the grandfather of data visualization. He's written a number of really good books on the subject. So as we go over the principles here, if you find it really interesting, and if you find the course in general interesting, I encourage you to take a look at Edward Tufte and what he has to say on data visualization. But in the meantime, I just want to go over a few principles with you guys. Specifically, we're going to be talking about three of his principles today. We're going to be talking about chart junk. We're going to be talking about data ink and the data ink ratio. And we're also going to be talking about how he stressed the importance of substance over design with data visualization. And there's a reason I put this lesson first before we really get into the specifics of bar charts and line charts and pie charts, is that each of these three are highly relevant to what I've mentioned and what we're going to be going over. Once we get through this lesson, if you still have a few questions, you know, feel free to contact me. Feel free to look Edward Tufte up on the internet yourself and his principles. Or, you know, take another look at the lesson again. They're here and they're yours. So first, let's talk about chart junk. Wikipedia defines chart junk as all visual elements in charts and graphs that are not necessary to comprehend the information that's represented on the graph or that distract the viewer from this information. And in order to make this a little more clear for you, I actually made a, a few over-the-top examples of what this could entail. For example, I said textures and shading, a uh, small, what does that say? Oh, it says size even, I can't even read it. And it's, you know, so small and then weird fonts you want to avoid. And basically you want to avoid anything that distracts the audience from focusing on the data. In other words, it's representing simplicity in design and simplicity in function. So for example, in your data legends, you don't wanna have these weird fonts or colors or uh, bolded this or bolded that. You just want a simple standard text. And the same with your data labels too. You want a standardized font, no coloring, no bolding, and no size distractions. And while hopefully the idea of chart junk is not a new concept to you guys, I'm thinking that for some of you, the idea of data ink and the data ink ratio probably will be, just because it really has its home here in data visualization. Now, Edward Tufte is the one who came up with this, so I'm going to leave it to him to really define what data ink is. And here's what he says. He says a large share of ink on a graphic should present data information, the ink changing as the data change. Data ink is the non-erasable core of a graphic, the non-redundant ink arranged in response to variation in the numbers represented. And basically that's kind of a, a mouthful, but what he's getting at is that in any particular graphic design, say we have a bar chart, there is a minimal amount of ink or substance in a chart that needs to be there that really defines the core of the data itself and the core of your message. But there's also a lot of opportunity to add distracting items and excess information that you do not need. And we're gonna go over a couple examples of those. Key examples of this are the excessive use of labels and edges in your charts. And simply put, the data ink ratio is the amount of core data ink divided by the total ink used to print the graphic. Now, obviously you can't clearly measure in a precise terms what this means. It's just a theoretical concept that compares your end result chart with the theoretical data ink needed to present the core message. And in theory, what it measures here is basically the percentage of your total chart and your total ink used to represent core fundamental ink and information as opposed to the total amount. And finally, we have Edward Tufte's focus on substance over design. And borrowing from Tufte himself again, in his book, he says to induce the viewer to think about the substance rather than about methodology, graphic design, the tech of graphic production, or something else. And so in terms of a high impact presentation, Edward Tufte really understood that the, at the end of the day, the purpose of data visualization and the purpose of representing our data in bar charts and lines is to really display a message. It's not to figure out who can come up with the most creative way of displaying information. 
It's a way of effectively and simplistically displaying information for another audience. And that's what makes the work of Edward Tufte so great, is his focus on simplicity throughout his career and throughout his data visualization efforts. So at the end of this segment here, we're actually going to be playing around in Excel again, like we always will be. And we're going to go over some examples of simplicity and data ink, and some examples where the data ink ratio is out of whack. And we're going to figure out how to fix that.